hello guys welcome to my youtube channel ui ninjas so in this video i am going to discuss about css properties so we have already covered some css properties in previous video in this video we will discuss more about common css properties that will be used to style your html elements we will discuss below properties one by one like color background color opac opacity background image height width border text property and all this so first we discuss about color the most common property is color color property allows us to specify the text color of an html element there are multiple valid formats for color values however the most common are hex values rgba and name of colors first is hex values most commonly used for defining colors in your css syntax is color here we write the code hash 5 times f this code used for white color and if you add hash 5 times 0 so that code is used for black color and many more codes are used for different colors so next is rgba rgba stands for red green blue and alpha that allows you to create colors that have an alpha value or opacity the alpha parameter is number between 0, 0.0 to 1.0 0, 0.0 is used for fully transparent and 1.0 is for fully opaque so syntax is first we add the property name then value is rgba and um, value of R, G, B and A alpha value so next is name colors easiest to use but don't give a lot of control over color like we can add name of the color red, blue, black and so on so next is background color the background color property allows you to set the background color of an HTML element similar to color property value of this property can be a hex value rgb or name of color so next is opacity opacity means transparency the opacity property specify the transparency of an element it can take a value from 0, 0.0 to 1.0 the lower value the more transparent for example divisor html element and we can add background color property and opacity so next is background image the background image properties allows us to add a background image to an html element this is similar to background color so this is the syntax first we add the property name and then use url and in between that we add the location of the image next is we can add background properties like background repeat first is background repeat property background image property repeats an image both horizontally as well as vertically some images should be repeated only horizontally or vertically so we use this first we add one image then we use background repeat we add repeat x that is used for horizontally and if you want to repeat vertically so we use repeat y and if you don't repeat this image so we use value is no repeat and next is the background attachment property and its value is fixed or you can change it by scroll scroll the background attachment property specify whether the background image should scroll or be fixed next is height width property height and width property specify the height and width of html element respectively there are many different values you can apply to both of this property but for this tutorial we will focus on pixels and percentage first we add p tag and in between that we add width and height of the p html element height and width property may have the following values like auto length percentage initial and inherit we can use any one of this 
नेक्स्ट इज बॉर्डर द बॉर्डर प्रॉपर्टी अलाउज यू टू सेट अ बॉर्डर फॉर एच टी एम एल एलिमेंट द बॉर्डर प्रॉपर्टी इज शॉर्ट हैंड प्रॉपर्टी यू कैन यूज इन वन लाइन फर्स्ट वी एट बॉर्डर वेट देन बॉर्डर स्टाइल देन बॉर्डर कलर सेंटेक्स इज दिस लाइक पी एक्स इज अ बॉर्डर वेट एंड सॉलिड इज अ बॉर्डर स्टाइल एंड दिस इज अ बॉर्डर कलर इट्स अ कोड of color we can add name color like black red the first value of px is width and second value is border style and last value is color so css border style the border style property specify what kind of border to display like we add border style is dotted dash solid double grow red inset outset none and hidden you can change any one of this value to give the border of the html element and in css there are also properties for specifying each of the border top right bottom and left we can change only top bottom you can only change left bottom right bottom like this border top style border right style and border bottom border left style like this and next we use border radius border radius property is used to add rounded borders to an element syntax is border radius value is 25 and if you want to change the border width so we use border width property and value is 5 px and if you want to change the border color so we use border color property and value is red so we can take one example of all these properties that i will discuss in this video so first we open the sublime text editor and add all properties that i will use in it so first we use we make one class editor here we use first property that is color we can add color name color code any one like we add green color and next property is background color we use background color that is light blue and next property we use is background image like first we add url in between that we add location of the image like small one is the image name and dot jpg is the extension and next property we add background repeat here we add number of properties from this pop up background repeat like we add no repeat we can change this values also by repeat x repeat y and repeat only and uh, no repeat as you wish and next we add the property that is font size like 40 px and next we add height of the element like 1200 and width is also 1200 we can add px and next is border we can add shorthand property of border first we add the border width like p 5px 
and next we add the style border style like dotted solid as you wish and next we add the color add color next we use the property border radius border radius is 25 px and next we add the property background attachment you can add fixed and we can change by scroll next property is opacity value is 0.3 we can change this value also. so save this file and see the result on the browser window we can add here first we add the html elements in the body tag that's why the result not shown first we add the div tag here we add the class class is property and we can add some content here and close this div we can close here style so save this file and see the result on the browser window we can add the html elements in the body tag close this body save this file and see the result on the browser window this result shows a border radius opacity and width height of the image we can change one value of this properties first we change background repeat is value no repeat and we add repeat value so image should be repeated image repeated and next we change the value of this properties we can remove this opacity or we can change this value by 0.0 save this file and see the result on the browser window opacity we can add zero so nothing was displayed so we change 1.0 lower value have the transparency more transparency so we can change this value and see the result on the browser window so next we can change the value of the properties like we can scroll this first see this image should scroll or not it's not scrolling image not scrolling so we can change background attachment value is scroll save and see the result on the browser window image also displayed while scrolling so next we 
डिस्कस अबाउट मोर प्रॉपर्टीज लाइक सी एस एस टेक्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी सी एस एस हैज अ लॉट ऑफ प्रॉपर्टीज फॉर फॉर्मेटिंग टेक्स टू चेंज द टेक्सट कलर वी एड कलर एंड इट्स वैल्यू इफ यू वॉन्ट टू चेंज द टेक्सट बैकग्राउंड कलर सो वी एड प्रॉपर्टी बैकग्राउंड कलर एंड इट्स वैल्यू If you want to change the text alignment, like right, center, justify, left, so we use text align property and its value is center, left, right. Next is text decoration property. It is used to set the appearance of decorative line lines on the text. So we use the text decoration property and we can change this values underline, overline, line through, overline, underline. and next is text transformation property the text transformation property is used to specify upper case and lower case letters in a text so we use the text property is text transform transform and value is upper case lower case capitalize so next is text spacing text spacing so we can change the text indent letter spacing line spacing word spacing white space and Uh, text indent property is used for indentation of the first line of the text and line spacing is used to specify the space between the character in the text and line height property is used to specify the space between lines and word spacing is used to specify the space between the words in the text and white space white space property specify how white space inside an element is handled so we can take one example of this all these properties now open the sublime text editor and we can add one more selector like h1 in between that we add all these properties like color color is red and next property is background color of the text background color is light blue and next we use text align property like center and next is text decoration like underline values underline overline as you wish you can change this and next is text transformation transform transform like upper case and next is text spacing five x save first we add the html element in the body section like h1 and that is used for heading and save save this file and see the result on the browser window see this text heading background color shows text decoration underline is shows and color background color all the properties are shown in this heading text so thank you if you like this video so please like share comment and subscribe my youtube channel ui ninjas in next video we will discuss about css box model keep watching and happy learning thank you